going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Let's find some dope, man. Hey, take five, some dope. Today, we got six PC mods in testing. We got one console mod in testing. With all those nine mods were released today. Today's the last day to enter the Xbox giveaway. Connect modding have the last render of their Case IH Patriot. Emerson Modding talks about their GNU 800. Pulse FS has their new sprayer in game and it's looking good. Gold Modding's got a new truck. 40 Modding talk about their new slurry tanker for the first time in almost a month. Plus, FDR Logging, join us on the Farm Sim Show tomorrow. Let's check it out. In test D4 PC, we have the Agrimass BTC50H. The Waste Far Condom Master 8331. GNU Series. Supply and Transport Contracts. W50 and Wilksy Pola. In test D4 consoles, our only mod there is the Crampy Tolly 10L Extended. With all that being said, we still have one mod sitting waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is one day. In addition to the mods of testing, nine new and updated mods were released today on the end game mod hub. I've already made a video showing these off. You can find that video linked in the first pin comment and description below today is your last day to enter the xbox giveaway tomorrow before farm some news three winners will be randomly chosen and will win an xbox series s 100 xbox gift card and one month of xbox ultimate this giveaway is only available for those in the continental united states it will not be shipping outside the lower 48 if you haven't entered the giveaway yet check the link in the description below you've got until 11 59 p.m eastern time tonight so go 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 and egg bonding have shared a new screenshot and some progress on their case Patriot 350 cell propelled sprayer today. This is the last render that we will be seeing as everything else going forward will be game pictures. They say that the modeling, mapping, and textures are all done and it's time to get the mod in game. This has been made for all platforms for Farm Sim 19 by Connect Modding. Emerson Modding's GNU 800 came back from Giants with a request to add it to the GNU 700 and make him bump pack. Well, that's exactly what they have done. The GNU series is currently in testing right now and will be for all platforms. The update will include the new Lizard GNU 800 four-wheel drive large tractor, and we could see this released as early as tomorrow. Pulse FS has some new screenshots for us today on their new self-propelled sprayer on a fairly small trailer accompanied by a fertilizer tank and being pulled by their Valmet 88, which isn't a very large tractor to begin with, so the sprayer must be much smaller than we were all expecting it to be, but it's great to see something like this. Almost everything that we've got like this is quite large, it's a nice change of pace for those that are playing on smaller maps that want to use a self-propelled sprayer but didn't have the room for it. Well, maybe now you will. They haven't released any other information on this yet, but I'll let you guys know when we get something official. Cola Modding has announced a new truck mod that they're working on today, the HPN Series Trucks. Oh yeah, these appear to be similar in size to their L1620 Brazil trucks and will be coming in many different options like liveries, colors, and wheels. I believe that this is another Mercedes-Benz style, but I'm not too sure. No other information was shared, but this is only the first that we're hearing about it. I'm sure we'll hear more. Can't wait. 40 Modding have released the first bit of information on their high-spec 500 TDS slurry tanker that we've seen in almost a month. From the looks of it, nothing has really changed as they've said basically the same thing they did in the middle of September, that it's about ready for starting texturing. They do say, however, that they have modeled a new larger pump, a new style rear door, both old car or old curb, and a new flat style, both of which are going to be available in the store. The tank will be hollow like their 2300 gallon version. They still need to finish the suspension details in the model and are going to make some improvements on the boom model. Otherwise, nothing really new to share today, unfortunately. At this rate, I would not look for this one to come to 19, probably just 22, but hey, you never know. And lastly today, let's talk about the Farm Sim Show tomorrow. We are back and we've got a very special guest, FDR Logging. We're going to be chatting about everything logging that we know about so far for Farm Sim 22 and answering some of your questions. If you have anything specific that you'd like us to talk about or have any questions for them, post those down in the comment section of this video. We'll get to as many as possible. That is going to be tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. And I'll get to as many self-aware segues as possible. I didn't think that, yeah, that didn't make any sense. These are really bad. Don't worry, Airburger, they won't get better. Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. So release dates for mods and myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording this video. Please refer to previous episodes for the most current status of those projects. Make sure you stay tuned to the channel for up-to-date information on everything new going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the GoFam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos on the channel. I'll be Zach. Hope you have a great day. We will see you later.
Well, I actually have the first normal weekend I've had in a while this weekend. What should we do? 